What did you witness that forever changed your understanding of fear? Perched ominously atop the craggy hill that overlooked the village of Ravenscroft, the derelict mansion known as Hollow Size Mansion had long been the centerpiece of local folklore. Abandoned for decades, its once grand facade was now a mask of decay, windows like dark, unblinking eyes watching over the town. Stories of its haunted halls and the tragedies of its former occupants were passed down through generations, each tale more macabre than the last. My fascination with the supernatural and the allure of uncovering the truth behind the legends drove me to explore the mansion under the cloak of a moonless night. As I breached the threshold, the air grew palpably colder, a silent warning of the unseen horrors that lay within. The mansion's interior was a labyrinth of dust-covered furniture and portraits, whose eyes seemed to follow my every move. Their expressions twisted in silent screams and anguished whispers. It was as if the very walls were alive with the echoes of the past, a past steeped in darkness and despair. Drawn inexorably towards the heart of the mansion, I found myself standing before the door to the library, its wood groaning ominously as I pushed it open. The room was shrouded in darkness, save for the faint glow of a fireplace that should not have been lit, casting dancing shadows that seemed to mock my trepidation. It was there, in the flickering light, that I saw it, a figure, or what remained of one, seated in an armchair before the hearth. Its form was ethereal, translucent, and shifting, yet unmistakably bound in torment. The ghost, for it could be nothing else, turned its hollow gaze upon me, and in that instant I was flooded with visions of the mansion's nefarious history. The specter revealed itself as Lord Jonathan Blackwood, the last master of hollow size, a man whose quest for forbidden knowledge had led him down a path of ruin. Through his eyes I witnessed unspeakable rituals and sacrifices made in the pursuit of immortality, each act more vile than the last, culminating in a pact with a darkness so profound it swallowed the light of his soul. The mansion, Lord Blackwood revealed, was a prison of his own making, a place where the barriers between worlds had been torn asunder, allowing things of unspeakable evil to slip through the cracks. His spirit, now forever tethered to the mansion, was condemned to relive his sins for eternity, a custodian of the horrors he had unleashed. As the visions faded, I found myself alone once more in the library, the fire extinguished, leaving only the cold embrace of the darkness. The weight of what I had witnessed bore down on me, a burden of knowledge that threatened to fracture my sanity. I fled Hollow Size Mansion, the night air never feeling so suffocating, the darkness a tangible force that seemed to cling to my very soul. The mansion's silhouette against the starless sky was a constant reminder of the thin veil that separates our world from the abyss and of the horrors that lurk in the hearts of men. The experience within the derelict mansion on the hill forever changed my understanding of fear, revealing not just the existence of the supernatural, but the true terror that arises from the darkness within us all. Hollow Size Mansion stands as a monument to human folly, a haunted edifice that whispers of the price of ambition and the eternal consequences of our darkest desires.